My name is Ratsumi. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. All right, we've got our basic tools on us. Let's see what the day has in store. It has lucky lunches in store. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. And also very happy spirits. Beautiful. Okay, how do I make a lucky lunch? Tell me this. Pancakes, splash brown. There we go. Lucky lunch. Sea cucumber, a blue jazz, and one tortilla. How do I make a tortilla? Can I make a tortilla? That's apparently no. I'd have to imagine tortilla is basically just flour. That's my understanding of how tortillas work in real life. Alright. Well, we're gonna get all of these just in time. But we are going to have to basically waste a bunch of seeds just to hold the fertilization in the soil. Eh, that's okay. They're not going to be particularly important seeds in the future anyway. Alright, let us get our trash. Including the fish. The fish is trash as far as I'm concerned. They're shitty fish. One of them insulted me while I was walking past it the other day. Honestly, shitty fish through and through. Alright. We've got all the snails out as well. Beautiful. One, two... Three, and hey, we're actually short on trash today. Good god damn. Imagine that. We might have a bit of trash in here. We do not. Glad to see it. Okay, any of the rest of you decided to pop up yet? No, and some of you still don't even want to grow at all. Rude. Honestly, rude. Alright, no green beans. I'm going to imagine I'm not going to get any more harvest than that. Oh, these are almost ready for another harvest. That's beautiful. Robin hammering away there. B A beautiful. This is also our final day for these, so I may as well get them down. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Everything on this farm. Honestly, as far as I'm concerned. Especially Robin. God, if we had romance options. Although I'll step off. Demetrius is already, uh Demetrius is already with you. just in case we need any of these in the future. Although we're really not running light on food. If this was Don't Starve, we'd have succeeded the game ten times over. Just because of its name. Alright. Can we... Ugh, crud. We're probably going to need to make some more. Then we'll drop the rest of those in there. Take these out. And 17... Uh, I think 17 is going to be enough. Just need to hold the places of anything that is currently fertilized. 17 is not enough. In fact, I need another three. I haven't split them up between the agricultural lot and this lot, no? Alright, never mind. Fine, we get... Uh, no, not a spring onion. One of each of these. Use that to create the spring seeds. Oh, there's... I don't want to waste mixed seeds, because they'd be mixed for this season. You know, I just use these. That holds all of those spots. Beautiful. Alright, now we can start getting rid of a bunch of the stuff that we're not using, including this pine tar. There's a bunch of mushrooms that might be best off in the fridge right now. Plus the fish. Alright, sort that out. I've got the parsnip juice in there just in case a recipe calls for any juice. And then I've just got the parsnip juice under my belt. Alright. Well, we've got a very lucky day, so what do we want to do with it? We do have a weapon. I'm not talking about my character's disarming good looks. I'm talking about this lava catna that actually is going to be able to be used for combat purposes. Hmm. I could also go out just deforesting the world today. As part of a long-term ploy in order to further global ecological change in terms of climate change. Mm. I think I go mining, honestly. I really think is it's a good idea to go for that today. Take cave carrots with me, just because I can. Don't believe I have a spicy eel or anything. 
Definitely doesn't look like it. All right. We're just in time to go to the mines as well, so it's fine. Absolutely fine. Because we've got to wait for you to get here, and then we've got to buy a ticket. Oh, sorry, I've got to return when the bus driver was present. Oh, look! We've returned when the bus driver was present. Good thing we got delayed by that. So basically, I'm relying on the luck of the day to allow me to get down a bunch of floors. Because I'm going to have difficulty otherwise. Just based off the fact that I don't really have that many bombs. And I haven't brought any stones with me in order to craft staircases downwards. I only want to crack open the easy ones. So that's anything that takes one swing. He says as he keeps swinging at things that take two. Come on, spicy eel. <gasps> really? The extra movement speed and the extra lock is actually really important to stack on as soon as I can. What the hell? That was entirely accidental, let me assure you. Must have accidentally just clicked on the bomb? Yeah, that's almost certainly what happened there, actually. No, nothing. Alright, this one actually is worth the bomb, though. And there's our way down. Beautiful. Plus a decent amount of Omni Geodes. Don't mind if I do. How the hell did I manage to hit that over there? Although I'm glad I did. Alright, two Iridium more. I believe because we're lucky, we're going to be getting the rare drops from these creatures more often. Iridium ore being one of said rare drops. I could have the ring on me at the moment where slimes can't damage you, but I just haven't done that yet. Come on. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Managed to just... Circle him away from me and destroy him. Okay, I've got to get used to this swing speed. It's really... It's just not the same at all. Not even slightly. Really? We haven't got our way down yet? I thought that would have been it. Ah, uh, yep. Slimy bastards. And I actually promise you, I began to say slimy before I realized they were slimes. It's just one of my preferred descriptors for a bastard. Alright. Also break this open on our way past. Not for the copper, just for the fact that it's an easy break. pretty important to break as many things as we possibly can so we can find our way down hey I'll be honest with you we could be doing better health wise we could be a little healthier but that would require eating right. Ugh. Who's got time for that? Instead, I'm just going to stuff my face with these cake carrots until we're fine. Or until we're close-ish to fine. Close-ish to fine is good enough for me. Alright, down another floor. Hey! No time to waste. Down another floor as well. 2 p.m. We're still not too far down. That does have iridium in it. Although it also has other things. So we'll quickly mine it before leaving. Lux specifically is making these enemies more likely to drop exits. 
So, of course, our first priority is not bomb the shit out of the level. It's kill all of the enemies that are, can be killed. Please stop encircling me. It's making this very difficult for me. Although, thank you for the meal. I actually might have a, see a serious heal associated. It does. Beautiful. Okay. That's pretty powerful. Although, I want to see if I can get a hole so I can skip a bunch. No, but some Omni Geodes. At least we got something for it. See, that's really how you manage to plow your way down in the Calico Deserts. Just finding holes and jumping down them constantly. Also, quickly, this spicy eel. Just for the HP's sake. I don't want to lose my lava katana and a bunch of money as well. Okay, that guy is hitting me every time I hit him. That's just rude as hell as far as I'm concerned. And also now I'm probably going to have to resort to really bad bombs. Yep. Oh god. No area is densely populated enough. Thank you. Down the next floor. Hey, Frozen Tear. Don't mind if I do. Although, thanks to Matt Alice, I do know that Sebastian loves sashimi. And that's just way easier to get for him because I can make it out of snails and he doesn't even know. He never suspects a thing. I mean, surely at that point, it's basically escargot, not sashimi, right? God. Sebastian, really? How do you expect me to respect you without a refined palate? Nah, as long as you got that fringe, I'll respect you anyway. Down we go. Oh, baby. That looks good. Hey, that's also what we were looking for. I'll take this ruby and jump down the shaft. I was losing HP on this. Interesting. So someone asked me a few episodes, and I apologize. I cannot remember the name of this commenter, but they did ask, uh, Rhapsody, do you realize that you're taking damage every single time you jump down those holes and say you're not taking damage? Is that a joke? Right? Because I kept saying I'm not taking damage. I thought I only took damage if I said ouch. If my player character said ouch after taking the jump. I, I, that was not a joke. I, I was just not aware that I was taking damage. I'm really sad about the fact that I am taking damage. Unbeknownst to myself. But yeah, that definitely confirms it. I had to look at my HP bar while I was doing it at that point, and... What do you know? I was taking damage. Hey, a straight up Iridium bar, don't mind if I do. Hey, also a hole, thank you. Another five levels. Okay, how on earth do I want to get myself out of this one? Let's eat a bunch of cave carrots. I don't have any more bombs, which is the problem. It is one of our primary concerns. A simple one hack. It's also a problem that I do not have any bombs because now I can't kill those mummies. Oh, never mind. Down we go. Skipped him. Ouch. That hurts. Hey, apparently I one hit those. Imagine my surprise. Okay, I've got to swing a little earlier than I would consider. So that I can hit those without taking any damage myself. Oh, okay. This should be my way down. Really, here. Come on. Really? Oh, 
At this rate, it's very unlikely I make it past floor 40. That's where all the interesting things are, damn it! At the end of the day, I'm probably... In fact, I'm definitely not going to be back in time in order to do anything with geodes. So get that thought out of your mind, Ryan. Oh, interesting. Aquamarine up here. Do I know anyone that likes Aquamarine? I believe I have a large amount of it as well. So if I did know someone that would like Aquamir Aquamarine, rather, I'd be able to make them my best friend in no time at all. Stuff their face full of it. Come on. Yeah, no, we're not really going to get anything productive done in this day of mining. That's unfortunate. All right, all of the one hacks on this are done. Great, now I actually have to go through manually destroying rocks. Pfft. Who do you think I am, a miner? By which, of course, I mean a child. In legal terminology. Oh, hang on. Uh, yep, gotcha. Thank you. I can't tell if that was the death sound of that dragonfly or the spawning sound of another dragonfly because they're quite similar. If not identical. Alright, there we go. Come on, it's got to be under one of these one hacks. Just to give me a rest all of these laborious floors we've been up against recently. Alright, it's not. We're getting very close to the time that I just bail out. Now, of course, the fact that we're spending today like this is basically just because we can. Right? We just want to maximize our amount of profit before we move into tomorrow. Because tomorrow is going to be the start of a new season. And we are going to need to purchase a absolute ass load of whatever the hottest berry is. Yeah, right, we're out of here. Uh, let's see if there's any wiggling going on. Because I didn't check that actually before I came down there. Any wiggling in any area? Oh, there's a little wiggling. And there's some more over there. Come on, I need the golden mask. This is the wiggling I need. You know, it's going to be absolute bollocks if it turns out the golden mask only spawns once per game and I've lost my chance. I'm not saying that's likely. I'm just saying that... Theoretically... Seems possible at this rate. It seems like there's no more artifacts I can get just by hacking away at the ground. Because I haven't got any artifacts by hacking away at the ground for a very long time. Okay, geodes going here. Beautiful, we got a solid stack of geodes. Uh, any monster kill things going here. Any ores also. Uh, actually, I might take those. Try and do something with them. Don't know what. Beautiful, pure resources. You can take this, this, and this. Uh, I'll drop off some mushrooms in here. Just a gold version of each. Because people often want one of those. I think I sold my last purple mushroom as well for some reason, so... Probably a good idea to have one on hand. Always miss something. There's the copper ore. I should have dropped up in there. Both of those go in the fridge. And sap goes down here. Beautiful. Pretty efficiently run day, if you ask me. Although you shouldn't ask me, because I'm biased, of course. <sighs> Hang on. I think because this is my last chance to sell a bunch of stuff, I should cut down, like, hardcore, like... Let's have one topaz, one ruby. I'm gonna get more, right? 
I know everyone loves diamonds, so we'll keep a lot of those. And I know enough people who like amethyst that I'll keep those. Also take the red mushroom, because I've got a red mushroom in the other area. I think I can sell the prismatic shard. Strange doll. Don't know why I'm saving that, but I feel like there must have been a reason. So I'm selling all of those just for a little cash infusion before the end of the day. All I need is enough money to get myself an absolutely stupid amount of... Oh, damn, that actually might help us. Of berries. All I need in my life. First of summer. So summer berry, I believe, is the blueberry. Oh, all of our crops have died. I can't bear... I cannot bear going out to look at the desolate remains of our farm at the end of this episode. Instead, I'll do it at the start of the next episode. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Stardew Valley. Welcome to summer. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.